Hello all, welcome to part three of mobile testing training series. In this session, I'm going to explain what are mobile devices and their types. So let's get started. So first of all, what are mobile devices? I'll directly show you a image, okay? This is an image case, okay? As you can see in this image, these are the different types of mobile devices that we generally use. Why we call them mobile devices? Because we can carry them anywhere, okay? The easiness of carrying these devices gave their name like mobile. Mobile means it can go, it is not uh, stick to one place, okay? If you are talking about a desktop machine, you see, you will, you will stick to one place. You cannot move all the CPU and all those stuff, right? Now laptops came and they are better kind of mobile when compared to that uh, desktop machines. Now, these are the kind of nowadays generation, right? Everyone has a smartphone in their hand, okay? Everyone has a smartphone, okay? So this smartphone is called as a mobile device because it can be carried in your pocket and can be moved anywhere, okay? Similarly, just to increase the size and to get a better view of the whatever we are working, in that uh, device, mobile device, okay? This came into picture, that is, this is called as a tablet, okay? Tablet. So what are the different types of uh, possible mobile devices? They are smartphones and tablets, okay? These are the mobile devices. And uh, on which we perform mobile application testing. These are the devices on which we generally perform mobile application testing, guys, okay? So what are the mobile devices? The devices that we can carry with us anywhere, with, without any inconvenience are nothing but the mobile devices, okay? So the mobile devices that we generally use for performing the mobile application testing, okay? For, for testing the mobile application, uh, whatever we have intended to are nothing but, okay? These are the two types, okay? These are the two types of mobile devices that are generally used for testing the mobile applications that as part of the project we have to test. The types I mentioned just now, so, so when we start to test a mobile application testing project, okay, let's say you got a project and uh, the, uh, as part of the project, you have to test a mobile application, okay? We have to first find out all the mobile devices on which the mobile application has to work, okay? So mobile application testing is something like this, guys. Uh, when you get a mobile application testing, it's not about browsers, in which browsers they have to test the application. In case of mobile application testing, we have to find out on which devices, on which mobile devices we have to perform the testing of this mobile application, we have to think, okay? We have to get this list, guys. How to get this list? We cannot decide by ourselves, okay? We should get this list from the client. Most of the cases, client. If not, we have to suggest the client that these are the major mobile devices nowadays in the market according to the analytics and all the stuff, according to the application context and all. So supported mobile devices list on which the mobile application has to be tested will be generally provided by the client, if not, we will recommend some uh, mobile devices list to the client and client has to finalize. Then only we can move forward with our mobile application testing, okay? So what can be, for example, uh, what can be this list? This list can be anything, guys. For example, smartphone, mobile devices, this list can be anything. It can be uh, Google Nexus uh, uh, mobile phone or it can be, you know, uh, Apple, okay? Apple iPhone. Okay, some version and all those stuff. It can be anything. What is that list of supported mobile devices on which this particular mobile application need to work is something we have to figure out or get it from the client in the beginning uh, days of the mobile application testing project. Okay, before we start testing any mobile application as part of our mobile application testing, we should get this list from the client or we should recommend it to the client so that client has to approve. Then only we have to move with the testing of that particular application on all the supported mobile devices that the mobile application has to work, okay? And types of mobile uh, mobile devices are smartphones and tablets. These are the major ones. It doesn't stick to these two parts, guys, okay? Uh, these are the, not only the two ones, but these are the major ones, okay? Whenever you see someone performing mobile testing, you will see them performing the mobile testing either on a smartphone or on a tablet, okay? So tablet come into the tablet and smartphones, you see a lot of things are there, guys. So Android operating system, Apple operating system, different operating systems are there. I'm going to cover that in the upcoming sessions, okay? Different operating systems supported by the mobile device on which the mobile application has to be performed. I'll be covering on the, in the next sessions, okay? Let's go one by one, one by one topic, okay? So in some cases, okay, apart from these two devices, guys, I am saying these two are the major devices, but apart from that, in some cases we have, 
we can be asked okay this happened with me where i was asked to perform mobile testing of the application on a lap laptop tablet hybrid devices like surface pro okay so if you go to this uh you search for this microsoft uh, surface pro you'll get this uh, kind of thing guys okay you can use the surface pro as a tablet or you can use it as a laptop it's a hybrid model guys okay it is a hybrid model as you can see the images here this is an hybrid model guys okay this is an hybrid model where you can use this can detach this part and use it as a tablet or uh, you, you can uh, just turn it on and uh, use it uh, you can get that keyboard back okay uh, something like that okay tablet and keyboard model this is tablet and keyboard model you can see here how you can use it in multiple purpose okay this is the image which either you can uh, attach this keyboard and then use it as a laptop or you can just uh, remove that and you can use it as a tablet okay so such kind of hybrid devices also exist okay not just uh, smartphones and uh, uh, tablets but also hybrid laptop tablets okay also exists for example surface microsoft surface pro is uh, surface uh, surface pro is uh, one of the such kind okay a lot of things exist guys in the market okay so and also guys not only that you may also be asked to perform mobile testing mobile application testing on windows operating system okay or any other operating system which will have a kind of play store kind of stuff from where which you can download and install mobile applications for example i am using windows 11 now if i click on this i'll see something known as microsoft store if i click on the microsoft store here i can install one application guys a mobile application i can install so mobile applications are not restricted to just mobile devices but also these days uh, from windows 8.1 onwards microsoft is supporting this and maybe there are other operating systems also which may support this mobile mobile applications okay you see just go to the apps uh, search for an app and uh, download and install you can do that okay top three apps it's taking some time just give it some time guys okay so here you see just uh, you have a lot of uh, you see you can install this uh, whatsapp instagram you see just click on this instagram and you get it installed you can test this instagram mobile application in your windows operating system also okay you'll get an option to install actually so let's wait so you, you just click on the gate it will be installed in your machine okay so like that guys windows operating systems nowadays uh, from 8.1 onwards are providing this uh, uh, support uh, to install the mobile applications on your uh, microsoft windows laptops okay and maybe other operating system also may have such kind of features because windows is providing this automatically competitors will also have such kind of features okay so this is the thing guys so so if someone asks you what are mobile devices and their types you have to explain what exactly are mobile devices and major types and apart from that there are laptop tablet hybrid types and also your own operating systems also nowadays coming with this inbuilt uh, okay kind of uh, stores play stores kind of thing where you can install the mobile applications like microsoft and uh, so on where you can install the mobile applications and test the devices okay so so as part of one of my project guys uh, when whatever i recall i was testing the mobile application on a smartphone on a tablet on this kind of hybrid kind of uh, laptop tablet thing and at the same time i was uh, uh, testing that on from windows 8.1 onwards to the uh, latest version of operating system which was existing in windows at that time okay so i was testing in all the things so hope guys uh, you got uh, the idea from this session what exactly mobile devices are there and their types and uh, what are the mobile devices that are generally asked for uh, performing the mobile application testing okay for testing the mobile application on those devices so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another topic on mobile testing till then see you bye bye